Now, wine may offer you solace when the world isn't looking too rosy, but people turn to drink for many reasons, and the latest is an attempt to find a safer place to invest than the stock market. Julie Gaveney checks out the latest tips from those sellers. More people drink wine now than ever before. A busy tasting session at the Vinopolis Centre on the South Bank is proof enough that not just any old plonk will do for many budding connoisseurs. One man who turned his enjoyment into investment is now reaping the benefits. I bought a small amount of uh, some of the better wines uh, in February, the 2000 vintage, which I thought was going to do very well. And I'm told that's already gone up 11% uh, since February. So I'm pleased with that and hope it will continue to improve. So isn't he tempted to drink it? Always a temptation, but they stayed in their boxes and uh, the wines that I drank were usually uh, from Majestic or from other places where uh, my wife would allow me to buy and drink. Most buyers, even investing in small amounts, use brokers, store their wine professionally and then wait. No, it's not something that should be looked at as a short-term quick buck. Um, people make very good money out of the wine market, but over a longer period. Uh, you need to invest money that you're not going to want to call on for a minimum of three to five years and perhaps even longer. So, for example, if you bought 12 bottles of this Claret 20 years ago, it would have cost you £300. If you sold it 10 years ago, you'd have made £9,000. Now, if you sold it today, you'd have made a handsome £19,000. So how does that compare if you'd invested it on the stock market? A very different story. Investing at the same time, you'd have made £1,300 in 10 years and just £1,600 in 20. But in high-risk markets, there's always losers and plenty of pitfalls. There are a lot of rogues who will trade on people's naivety and ignorance and say, I've got this wonderful wine, it's la di da di da and spin a story and make a lot of money. Oh, yes. So for anyone considering an investment, perhaps it's best to treat it like your favourite wine and follow your nose. Julie Gatenby, BBC London News.